So my drone has got a problem. One of the blades isn't spinning. So we're going to take it apart and fix it. So to fix it, I'm going to need a small Phillips screwdriver. i got a couple different sizes here to, to work with. So the first thing we do is take the battery out. Take the camera off. And remove the battery. And we're going to take out all these little screws all the way around. We're going to take the landing feet off. We just pull off. And there's a four screws right here we'll take out also. And there's two screws here. Now with that should be able to take this center piece off. And this is the circuit board that controls all the motors. So we're going to test to see if it's the motor or the controller board that has the problem. So, so how are you going to do that? So we're going to put the, the battery back in and then we're going to use a standard uh, voltmeter um, and we're going to measure where the wires for the motor attach to the controller board here and see if there's voltage coming out of them. If, they're vol if there is voltage, then the um, controller board's okay and we need to replace the motor. So we're going to put the battery back in just temporarily for now. Turn it back on. Okay. So it's this motor. So we can see that it's the black and white wires that go over to the motor and they attach right there. there's a little voltage there so I think it's definitely the motor yep so the voltage is going up when we run the motors but this motor's not turning so we're going to replace the motor so we bought a kit that includes two motors because there's two different kind of motors on here and you can identify them by the motors by what color wires are attached so we're going to Cut the take the old motor out, and then we're just going to splice the new motor in into the old wires here. First, we take the battery out. And we start by taking off the propeller. And turn it back over, and then there's some screws here. And here's the motor. So we can turn it over. So now that we got it all out, I'm going to take a wire cutter. Cut the old wire so I can get the motor out. 
Let me get our new motor. Make sure we have the new one with the same color wires. I'm going to put it back in where the other one was. Make sure to fish the wire through the hole. Now we're going to strip a little bit of wire on both of these so we can connect them together. so they're easier to work with. And the same thing over here. And we're going to take the two wires, twist them together, making sure to keep the white with the white and the black with the black. Now that we've got them twisted together, we're going to use a soldering iron and we're going to solder the wires together so that they don't come loose while it's flying. So to do that, you heat, it up, heat up the iron first and you put it against the wire, get it hot and you put just let it melt just a drip of the solder here against it. That's it. Now that we got that done, we're going to trim some of these little little extra wires off that aren't needed. We're going to take some electrical tape. And we're going to wrap it around it to insulate it to make sure it doesn't short up. Now the next thing to do is this is the old motor to take this little gear off the end of the old motor put it on the new motor. <clears throat> Pulling it off. You want to put it back on. You want to make sure that this little smooth part is pointing down. It just shoves onto the to the new motor. So it's flush with the end of the shaft. And this whole thing goes. back down in there. Then we put it all back together opposite the way we took it apart. So. Okay. so now that we have the motor and the propeller back on, we're gonna give it a test before we put the rest of it together. So we're gonna put the battery back in. Which one was it? Right, this one right here. Okay. You can see where the tape was that we put on. It's not working. So, we can finish putting it back together again.